President Biden and Governor Ron DeSantis have both declared a state of emergency in Florida ahead of a likely strike by Tropical Storm Ian. The storm is expected to explode in strength today and quickly become a major hurricane. Christian Benavides has the latest from Miami. Floridians are filling sandbags, waiting in long lines for gas, and emptying grocery store shelves in preparation for Tropical Storm Ian. Keep the water out of your place if it actually gets to that point. Better safe than sorry, bro. All 67 counties in Florida are under a state of emergency as the National Hurricane Center keeps a close eye on the storm's projected track, which could change in the coming days. From the Tampa Bay area all the way up to Escambia County along Florida's Gulf Coast, uh, you could potentially see uh, it make landfall in any of those places as of right now. Ian is first expected to skirt past the Cayman Islands, and emergency officials are preparing for hurricane conditions. We must prepare for the worst and absolutely pray and hope for the best. Forecasters expect Ian will be a Category 3 hurricane by the time it hits the far western part of Cuba early Tuesday before slamming into Florida. It's going to be pretty broad impacts throughout the state. You're going to have wind, you're going to have water. You, there could be flooding on the east coast of Florida as a result of this. It's a, it's a big storm. Ian's expected to make landfall by midweek. Cristian Benavides, CBS News, Miami. President Biden has canceled his Florida DNC appearance on Tuesday due to the storm, and the state has called up 2,500 National Guard members to assist.